rotated uh, we want this to be pushed down as it's as it would be attached uh, on this pole here and then we want this to swing uh, this way uh, when this goes this way uh, but I want this to go down like that so let's begin by having this rotated uh, using a slider so let me create uh, the slider let me first clear these uh, notations let me just add a slider here just add and let me just use a cube it's a simple thing here that's going to be our slider so when we move it forward and back uh, I should control the rotation of this object <coughs> and uh, the way you do that is that uh, you can simply attach a driver have a driver uh, connected to the to the rotation of this uh, the Y rotation of this object so if you hit N uh, you can access uh, the transformation uh, options and uh, you can see that uh, if we rotate the this on the on the y axis this rotates so we can tie this rotation to the position to the x position x location of this object so the way you do that you just select uh, the object uh, right click on the value you want to add a slider to then add a slider sorry add a driver and then select the object you want as to be the target of that driver so let me right click now we can edit that driver and can select uh, that cube I'm not sure what name it is called cube so I'll just have it here now to make things simpler I'm also just going to switch this into the driver editor uh, so that I can always have the driver visible instead of right clicking and then edit or open or edit driver to have it there so uh, it's going to expand this uh, select the object select the rotation and hit in and you should go you should see the drivers directly there now we can select the object we want now if we move this you can see we get that but uh, it's not locked to any specific direction let me see uh, actually we are lucky that uh, the default di direction uh, is locked to is the object x location uh, which is this you can see so when I move this in the x direction it it changes uh, the value of rotation for this object uh, you can see we have this as set as the target and that we are targeting is x location uh, the expression we're using here is whatever value of uh, the x here so this value here would be uh, the value used uh, for the rotation of this plus 1.68 so this 1.68 comes as let me first clear this driver so to clear the driver you just right click on the uh, on the value and then de delete uh, the driver so the 1.8 1.68 is a result of this already having a rotation so that rotation that this already had uh, plus whatever this value is so uh, if you don't want that you just clear it and then select then add the driver again so add driver then we can navigate to our drivers then yeah, make sure you select uh, the value here this under the, the whatever is under the drivers to access these drivers directly now you can see because we cleared the rotation uh, the expression is set to whatever this value is uh, let's first select this whatever this value is uh, plus zero zero uh, which was the rotation of our object uh, we don't need that so now if we move this can see so to make this easier I'm going to give this a slight animation because you can see that uh, this is really fast uh, the animation of this is going really fast so we want to uh, get the right value the right expression because we can't just uh, have the X location as the rotation of this object it will be too much so we need to get the right expression and uh, the one going to do that is first add a keyframe uh, add some bit of animation to this so that, I, so that I don't have to go back and select this move it around to see the results here so let me also trim my timeline a bit Let's see this is what we have it's really fast so let me just to to have a scale I'm just going to add 
this slider here to basically create a scale for myself. It's something simple. So I want basically what I want is a uh, at this position here. I want uh, this to be around here, maybe here, and then when the slider is at the end, uh, this should be at this angle. So that I see that's not what we are getting. So now if we select this, I can start playing around with the slider. So let's try uh, dividing the value. Ah, uh, sorry, uh, the expression is this part here, not uh, this, uh, this this one here. So divide this by two and let's see. Okay, we are getting a slower rotation and uh, let's try. I think what we can do is divide this by two, but so we want this rotation to start from here. So we can add maybe plus one. Now, if we play this, I think now it's a bit slower. So we can maybe divide this point by point 1.5. Point but what I'm going to do is just trim this uh, scale down so that it matches what I have here. So instead of uh, playing with the values. So I know that uh, when this slider is at the end, uh, this should be at that angle. And uh, if I want this to be this side, you can, yeah, so I can basically have the, th the scale adjusted instead of playing with the rotation there. So.